Yama, I'm Jack. This is Newsbreak. Let's take a look at what's in the show today. The internet reacts to YouTube going down. We preview the women's state of origin. And a real-life flying broomstick. Well, kind of. But before we check out that flying broomstick, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Both the new PlayStation and Xbox consoles have just been released in Australia. And while that's really exciting news for gamers, many customers are struggling to get their hands on one. Here's Leela. If you're a gamer and you manage to get your hands on one of these, or one of these this week, you're probably pretty happy right now. The hype for a new generation of consoles after an eight-year wait since the last launch has been out of control all year. So it's no surprise both the new Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 have been selling out here in Australia and around the world. So the demand is, it's insane for these. Uh, you know, everyone's been out trying to get one. We've had people waiting in the rain. But it's the way retailers have handled it that's frustrated a lot of people, who say on the release days, websites crashed and they haven't been able to place their orders. I'm just really trying to figure out what I did in a past life to not be able to secure a PS5 today. There's so much demand that manufacturers can't keep up it's pushed resale prices through the roof. A PS5 has apparently already sold for $50,100 on eBay, but it's worth just $749 retail. Both Microsoft and Sony say they're gonna get more of their consoles on store shelves by Christmas. So in the meantime, trusty old PS1. What happens when the world's most popular video streaming service goes down? everyone loses their minds. Yep, for around an hour yesterday, YouTube was down. Videos just wouldn't load, and people were not happy about it. Or maybe they just like posting memes, I don't know. YouTube tells us everything has gone back to normal now, so you can watch this episode on our channel over and over and over again. Now, there are a lot of things happening in sport that we're gonna have to rattle off really quickly, so here's Kale with a sports blitz. Alrighty, strap yourselves in, because things are about to get rhymy. After two weeks of training up on the Sunshine Coast, it's women's state of origin and Queensland's the host. The Blues have never lost in its two-year history. Will that continue this year? Well, that remains a mystery. The WNBL got started with a few cracker matches, with wins to Melbourne and Southside and, oh, work on your catches. After overtime on Wednesday, the Lightning came out on top with a big game from Wilson and 30 from Talbot. Melbourne tries to spin on it, takes a little bump. Speaking of basketball, the Boomers have a new coach. It'll be Brian Gorgian as the Olympics approach. The US Masters are on, but this year there's a change. It's in November, there's no crowds, and there's plenty of rain. In fact, play got called off as it bucketed down in the morning. But once we got going, Tiger Woods sent a pretty strong warning. The first round's still going, but Paul Casey's on top. Snapping on his heels, though, is Aussie Adam Scott. Lastly, check out this strike from the Danish first tier. Off the post and in the net, yeah, that's goal of the year. This next segment was originally called Robotic Realness, but then we took a closer look and realised that the robots were a little less real and a little more really odd. So it's time for Robotic Unrealness. Ah, that's terrifying, but for all the wrong reasons. This robotic glowing monster wolf thing has been designed to scare away bears. Towns in Japan have been using them because apparently bears have become a bit of a problem in the countryside. If it works as well as it did on me, those bears must be shaking in their boots. Or paws. What do you get when you cross a waiter and a cat? Whatever this is. A cafe in Russia has hired a cat-like robot to help wait tables. While most cats would probably just scratch at things and pull apart your favourite knitted jumper, this one is pretty useful. It drives around tables delivering orders to customers as well as taking dirty dishes away. Good kitty. 
And move over, Harry Potter, cause who needs magic when you've got a broomstick attached to a single motorized wheel? Two presumably muggles in Brazil have invented a flying, or at least driving broomstick. But if you squint, it kinda looks like they're flying. Yeah. Well, it's time for me to grab my broomstick, cause it's the end of the show, and it's also the weekend. Have a good one, and we'll see you on Monday. Oh,